the whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be talking about how to make coins day one of Madden 22 Ultimate Team. Now I've been waiting to make this video and I also have a couple of other videos coming out over the course of the next couple days of stuff you guys really need to know about Madden 22 before the first day so that way you can know the best way to like build your team and a couple of other videos as well that I have coming out pretty soon. But if you guys have missed it, I've already gone over the best rookie premier players to pick and the best team captain and loyalty players to pick as well. Those videos are already up on the channel. If you guys aren't new to the channel, you already know I've got you covered on literally everything. But if you guys are new to the channel, hit that sub button down below and turn that notification bell on. I'm going to have a ton of videos coming after you guys before Madden. And when Madden drops, you guys already know, three, four videos a day, literally every day. Hit that sub button. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Neon Rider for being a part of the Nodi Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, to notification bell on, and comment down below, Nodi Gang. But let's talk about how to make coins day one of Madden 22. Now, when I say day one, that can mean different things for you because that can either mean EA Access, which if you guys do not have EA Access, definitely I recommend you guys go ahead and get it because on August 12th, you're going to be able to get a 10 hour trial which is really key, especially if you guys want to take advantage of some of this stuff that I'm going to talk about. Getting that EA Access trial or getting the Dynasty MVP edition even, both of those steps are really, really crucial to take advantage of certain things with the market specifically. That's one thing I'm going to talk about is investments that you guys can do during the EA Access trial, and they have tend to work for me year in and year out. I will admit the market's going to be a little bit different this year because of the way that rookie premieres are done with them being 86 overalls to start and some of them being very, very good. I think it messes up some of the investments that I planned to do before seeing those cards, seeing the stats on them, but there's still tons that I've done year in, year out that are still going to work and I'm going to share them with you guys. Aside from investments, there are some basic things that you guys should be doing during your EA Access trial or when you finally get the game whenever even if you guys don't have EA access it's only five dollars a month i believe i definitely recommend you guys sign up for that so you get that 10 hour trial because that is so crucial there's even like some specific solos you can play during the EA access trial to give you like some cool things so definitely recommend you guys do that but let's go over some stuff we already know about madden 22 and some things you need to get done immediately all right, so let's get into some of the more basic stuff that you guys should be doing. Now, this is something I recommend if you guys have the 10-hour trial or whatever. If you have the 10-hour trial, and if the daily objectives are live during EA Access, we will see if they are, of course. If you guys don't know this, if you didn't play Madden before this, whatever, there tends to be a daily objective that you guys can actually get done where it gives you a random quick sell. So if you see your 10-hour trial is coming to an end, and it's like towards the end of one day, like it's like Tuesday night, whatever, get off the game and save like 15 minutes okay then log in wednesday morning when the when it resets so log in around like 11 a.m whatever because it'll be reset by then 11 a.m eastern time i believe it actually resets like much earlier like nine or eight whatever but log in around like 11 just to ensure that it is reset if it is in fact there if you only have 15 minutes left whatever hop on do the daily objective and get another daily objective they knocked out and as well you'll be able to get another quick sell but definitely take a look at these daily objectives, the weekly objectives, even the ultimate season rewards when you guys are going through your EA Access stuff just to make sure you're knocking out as many of these as possible because you're going to get some coin rewards. You can see when you complete the weekly objective as well, you get a gridiron pack, which at the beginning of the game, guys, pulling any elites are, are so big, like they're worth a decent amount of coins. So please make sure you guys get your free packs and you can. And you can see as well with the daily objectives, it's pretty easy. You guys can see purchase a pack. So you can go to the store, do a get a player pack for literally uh, 500 coins. So not much there. Win two games and then win a game. So as long as you just win two games and purchase a pack, you'll get it done. And there's also an extended daily, which is something we haven't seen before, but as long as you get done to purchase a pack and win two games, which they can be solo challenges, you'll get a random quick sell. So just a little tip there. If you have a little bit of time left, save it for the next day if these are live during Access. I don't remember if they were live during Access last year. We'll be able to see though as soon as we get the game. And as well, the weekly objectives complete three daily missions. So as long as you get three of those days done, win 20 games, again, they could be solo, so not very hard to do. 
and complete any five weekly objectives to earn 8,000 XP to get the Gridiron Pack. So those were some of those and they didn't show the other ones and then also we have like the ultimate season ones you're probably not going to be too worried about getting necessarily these done immediately right off the bat here but of course as you just level up you tend to get some some stuff you know 50 training 10k coins 70 plus overall go to better player there's a bunch of objectives you guys can get done to level up during even ea access or day one the rewards to be honest with you don't seem as good as they were last year kind of expect it and you can see in order to level up this is some of the stuff you guys have to get done so should you really be trying to get any of these done during your 10 hour trial via access maybe the earn 175 stars in the campaign but you know if, if it's taking forever don't worry about it too much not really too worried about these now of course this is specifically if you guys have the game during the ea access trial the 10 hour trial make sure you guys get this done step one to making coins is saving coins and how do you save coins what well, you guys can see with these ea play solos you can see you actually get a cover athlete powered up fantasy pack right so you can get between mahomes's or tom brady's power up so that's some free coins right there you can sell that you also end up getting an elite 80 plus overall wide receiver fantasy pack so you're gonna get an 80 plus overall wide receiver fantasy pack probably just three random 80 plus overall basically wide receivers and you get to pick one and also 1500 coins so with that you will get a wide receiver you can keep on your team. I don't know if it's auction or NAT. If it's NAT, you can just keep it on your team. So you just saved coins by not having to go out and buy a wide receiver or you get a wide receiver and you can sell it. And something else that is really crucial is just taking advantage of everything the EA has given you. So all the solos that are available whenever you guys get your hands on the game, like the campaign, play through the campaign, get all those rewards and get whatever free players you potentially can get, whatever free patch you can get, free coins, take advantage of all of that and especially so with this gridiron tower i think this is actually really, really good this is something that i definitely plan to knock out immediately because you do get some other stuff in here like a 75 plus overall gold player there's some other milestones which they never showed us in the stream you couldn't find the screenshot but down there at 80 stars you guys you get an 87 overall jc jackson and his power up again you're saving coins by not having to go out and buy a corner we don't know the stats in the card yet but He's going to be fast. It's going to be a good corner. You're going to save yourself a lot of coins by not having to buy a cornerback one, two, or three. He's going to be a starter. Now, let's say that you guys end up getting the game the day that it drops, which is actually August 20th. There will also be this superstar promo in the game. Now, this is also something you guys can do here with this. Like, let's say you get the game on EA Access, whatever. If you want to make some investments into power-ups, into players that you think will potentially be in the superstar promo they did not show every single player so if there is a player you think is going to be in the superstar promo which to be honest it's about impossible to predict ea can just do whatever players they want but i'll showcase for you you can even invest into base elites or powerless players you think could be in the superstar promo and they did go up in price specifically tyler lockett was one that definitely shot up a lot in price but the superstar promo will be out august 20th you guys can make some investments to this early if you want to but also there's going to be some challenges to get done again getting some free nat players do it and i think the last thing i want to talk to you guys about in terms of stuff that we know about madden 22 that i'm going to go into investments and everything is this the pre-order so depending on what pre-order edition you guys have here specifically the team fantasy packs i'm going to make a video when we actually see like the entire database going over the best team fantasy packs to choose so you guys know how to make the most coins out of those team fantasy packs but obviously another key aspect of this of saving coins is if you guys get the dynasty or mvp edition you get a base elite brady or mahomes so you just got yourself a base elite qb to start the game that is very very good it's going to save you a lot of coins at quarterback some pretty basic stuff right there but make sure you guys go ahead and get that all done also something that you guys need to make sure you do and get it set up i don't actually know if it's available to set up currently but write it down i think you probably can sign up for it right now i might just transfer over to madden 22 is signing up for mutt rewards muttrewards.com go to muttrewards.com sign up for it because that is going to track how many packs you guys open even if you go to the store in madden 22 and you open up a get a player pack for 500 coins right boom there's one pack now every time you guys open packs whatever it's going to track that and when you get up to over a thousand packs which i know it sounds like a lot but it's really not that hard to get done that that counts like any solo games that you guys play where you get packs 
anything at all any sort of pack opened at all it is going to count and add that to the number you're gonna get rewards basically every month ea sends out multi reward packs so you don't have to have a thousand i believe there's different tiers like 250 500 a thousand whatever so sign up for that it's a bunch of free packs throughout the year maybe not always the craziest stuff but it is free packs now i'll tell you guys i know for a fact that i'm going to make a video about this because i do it literally every single year explaining this very very simple process here of going to exchanges they tend to have exchanges they probably will have this again they always do just throwing in whatever silver players you guys get from playing solos if you open packs whatever whatever silver players you get throw them into these exchange sets here because doing these exchange sets you can potentially get power-ups and get some pretty expensive ones. So I definitely recommend you guys throw any silvers you get into any exchanges you can. This one right here, this one trading in three, uh, 66 to 69 to get to 70, 74. Throw your silvers into exchanges. And I'm telling you right now, I'm going to make a video on this probably like four or five days in to Madden 22. But take advantage of it ASAP. So we've gone over some of the more basic stuff. Now I'm sure some of you guys want to know about investing. What are the best investments to make during the EA Access trial or when you get your hands on the game? First, well, definitely investing earlier is going to help you straight up. If you guys have VA access, we have the Dynasty Edition, MVP Edition, it is going to help you to invest into players earlier on. Now, I will say one thing that I may potentially invest into and I'm not so certain about it yet. I have to kind of see the market and see how things are. I might invest into rookie premieres. Now, the reason I might invest into rookie premieres is because there are some people that are going to take some auctionable cards like Jamar Chase, who has 91 speed, and they're going to throw them up in the auction house. And of course, they're going to throw them up for cheaper at the beginning because no one really has enough coins to buy all those cards. So I'm going to try to get coins as fast as I possibly can, potentially invest into rookie premieres because when people get their hands on the standard edition of the game, right? People get their hands on the standard edition. People get their hands on the MVP, the dynasty edition. There's going to be a lot Lot more people playing the game which obviously means that the market people are going to want to buy up cards which is going to drive up the price and jamar chase specifically as well as some of the other higher you know wanted players like kyle pitts whatever their prices are definitely going to go up because not everyone does rookie premiere not everyone did rookie premiere there's actually not a high percentage of people that I think even understood Rookie Premier this year. So the amount of like Jamar Chase's, Kyle Pitts, all those that can be in the auction house, it's going to be kind of limited. So I think I may invest into some of them and then wait a little bit, probably around like the game drops on the 20th. I might wait until the end of even August to start selling them off because obviously more people get their hands on the game. Like I said, with the standard edition, whatever, they're going to want to get those cards. So if they didn't do Rookie Premier, they got to buy them. But now let's take a look at the prices at the beginning of Madden 21 so you guys can kind of see what happened with certain positions. Now, as I said, I think the rookie premieres could kind of change this a bit. Maybe, you know, not make base elites as needed for specific positions like wide receiver. And I'll go into that. But with Patrick Mahomes here, the thing is everyone had a free Lamar Jackson at the beginning of the game with your pre-order. Well, this year with the MVP and Dynasty Edition, you get the free Patrick Mahomes or Tom Brady too. So that is uh, definitely going to change up the market a little bit there and also Trevor Lawrence so I don't really feel like investing into base elite quarterbacks is going to be that rewarding Russell Wilson we already know as well is getting a superstar uh, master card I think it's like an 89 overall card whatever so investing into Patrick Mahomes you guys can see this right here is like day one of the access and then he dropped all the way down to about 114,000 coins he did kind of rebound here and then he shot up a little bit right around here to 216 but Eh, I'm not really going to invest in any quarterbacks. Now, one position, though, that I do invest into every single year, and every single year it tends to pay off, is kickers and punters. And specifically, the highest kick power ones that I can find on the auction house. So, Josh Lambeau at the beginning of the year, guys, was the highest kick power kicker to start the game and you guys can see right here when ea access came out he was sitting at around twenty five thousand coins even going up to about 35k but then when the actual game came out boom all the way up to fifty six thousand coins because everybody needs a good kicker and punters as well so this is a position that i always invest in and i'm gonna invest in again and another position, as I said, is punter that I invest into. And you guys can see right here, he was sitting at about 21K on EA Access open night. It says 34, but there is right there, 21, trying to get it. There we go, 21K. And you guys can see when the game came out, all the way up to 55K. 
Again, kickers and punters are the move. Now, can you invest into other high overall positions? You definitely can, but it's really going to come down to the position. And again, rookie premieres are really, I think, going to mess with the market a little bit because those players are really good. Najee Harris at running back. We have wide receivers like Jamar Chase. We have Kyle Pitts at tight end. I'm not really sure how that's going to mess with the market necessarily, but you can see Christian McCaffrey, you know, when the game started off with EA Access, he was sitting around, you know, 140K, and then he went up to 180. Not a big change there. And someone like Derrick Henry, who, of course, was very, very wanted, and especially if you guys are playing next gen this year, he's going to be very wanted. So maybe Derrick Henry is one you want to invest into, depending on his price. But you guys can see, you know, he's sitting at around 115K, went down to about 80K, and then shot up to 140k when the game came out. Now, of course, those are some of the more expensive base elites in the game. You can still invest in two other cards that are 80 overall, 82 overall, but really it's going to come down to, do you want to risk it? Well, with Alvin, you guys can see his price did go up. He started about 9k or so, and then shot all the way up to 15k when the game came out. So this was one that you know, was pretty wanted in Alvin, but even somebody with a big name like Saquon, he actually went down in price. You guys can see Saquon Barkley right here when he came out. He really started off decently high, 39K. So someone like this, you probably want to sell immediately because the stats on him weren't all that crazy but when the game came out he actually dropped all the way down to 28k sat around 29k and just kept falling down until he got an upgrade around here when he shot 28k in december so yeah unless it's a really wanted card something that's gonna be really glitchy saquon this card was decent sell immediately off the name with other players like pass rushers, their prices do tend to go up a little bit. You guys can see Khalil Mack here. He started off the game at about 148K, eventually hit up to about 180. So you're making like a 40K profit on it. Not crazy, crazy, but again, decent. As I said, Tyler Lockett specifically had a huge price jump because he ended up getting a superstar MVP upgrade at the beginning of the game. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen for Russell Wilson because we already know about that card. Maybe Terry McLaurin, if his price isn't too high, if you guys want to invest into that card during the access, I guess you guys could. But you can see Tyler Lockett, obviously, we didn't know the promo was coming, whatever. He was around 16K, and then the promo dropped, boom, 35K. Big time increase there. And then, of course, the last thing I'm going to talk about is investing into power-ups. I'm probably going to make a video when the game drops, going over maybe the best power-ups to invest in, but definitely just invest into players that are, you know, big names with really good cards that everybody is going to want. Tyreek Hill, of course, everybody wanted at the beginning of the game, and he started off decently expensive, 80K, but then you can see just slowly rose, 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 all the way up to 185,000 coins. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop the like video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Hopefully, this video will help you guys out and make you some coins at the beginning of Madden 22. As I said, definitely make another updated video when Madden 22 does drop with some more in-depth info. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.